Hey everyone, and welcome to Tony for... I mean, Tony for you. Today, I'll be answering a question that has plagued the minds of SMT fans for years. Why is... censored in the games? Well, it's a lot more in-depth than you think. Yahweh, Adonai, Elohim, Jehovah, they're all names used for God in the Hebrew Bible, but is the most holy name of God. Okay, we can stop with the censorship for now. So, the pronunciation of YHVH is not known for certain, as the modern Hebrew tongue is very different from ancient Hebrew, but I'll go over some interpretations. This is the Tetragrammaton, the four-letter name of God found over 6,500 times in the Hebrew Bible. For context, Hebrew text is read right to left. The letter on the far right is Yod, believed to have a Y sound. The two repeating letters are He, believed to have an H sound, and the final letter is Vo, which could be a consonant or a vowel. As a consonant, it would have a W or V sound, but as a vowel, it would have an O or a U sound. If we tie this back to SMT, they clearly are interpreting it as a consonant, specifically a V sound. With all that, the proper pronunciation of the Lord's name in SMT is... Yod he vav he. Interesting, huh? Well, in the ancient Hebrew text, there are no vowels, so no one can say for sure if this is actually what it's pronounced like. This is just his name spelled out. Modern interpretations are in agreement that he's currently pronounced Yahweh, or Yehovah, depending on the manuscript you read. Well, now that you know how to pronounce his name, make sure you never say it, or else. I can hear the earth shaking outside my window as I'm recording this. The Lord's name is too holy to be spoken, and even saying his name could cause miracles to happen. There are seven sacred names of God in the Old Testament, being yod heh vav -Heh, Eloah and Elohim, all meaning God, Shaddai, meaning Almighty, Ehye, meaning I Am, pay attention to that one, and Sivaot, meaning of hosts. God is a word used for one that is worshipped and powerful, not the true name of the Lord himself. For reference, it's recorded that when the Old Testament was being written by the scribes, whenever they were to write the name of the Lord in the scripture, they would use a separate writing tool, write the name, then dispose of it so it would never write another word again. Some people even believe they specifically changed the lettering of God's name so as to eliminate the possibility of people saying it without reverence. The Lord is well known, in the Old and New Testament, for his power to completely wipe out, as well as bring about life. Many times throughout the Bible, the Holy Spirit courses through recently deceased people bringing them back to life, like when Elijah placed his staff on a young boy and brought him back to life, or when Jesus told Lazarus to arise and he walked out of his tomb. This can also happen with exceptionally holy individuals, such as when the dead body of the prophet Elisha was being placed into a cave, and when someone else was to be buried alongside him, when their bodies touched, the man was immediately brought back to life. With Yahweh himself not specifically having to be present for miracles to happen being established, many posit that the name itself carries with it so much holy power, to say it without reverence could cause all manner of things to happen, and presumably nothing good. When Roman soldiers came to approach Jesus, they asked him, Who are you? To which Jesus replied, I am. Remember those seven holy names? Well, one of them meant, I am. Ehye. In other words, Jesus was confirming that he is in fact one with God, a part of the Godhead or the Holy Trinity. When Jesus replied with this statement, there was a shockwave sent out from his position. The mere invocation of the Lord's name not to be spoken sent physical force out from the speaker, and that was when it was said by Jesus. So, you must be thinking, after all that information, what may happen if it's spoken by normal people? Or heaven forbid, a demon? Well, who can say? Considering that even ancient scribes took measures to obfuscate yod heh vod -Heh's name over the years, leads me to believe that it meant a lot. Some interpret it as just a way to prevent people from taking the Lord's name in vain, as was prohibited in the Ten Commandments, while others view it as inviting God's judgment upon the speaker. According to the Mishnah, God's name was only to be said in the Temple of Jerusalem, and even then, only on very specific occasions. In the context of the SMT games, no one dares pronounce yod heh vod -Heh's name. Not Lucifer, not Satan, not even the Archangels. For demons, it would seem fairly obvious what would happen to them. I assume for them to say yod heh vod -Heh's name would immediately result in their destruction from the holy energy that name results in. Unless, I guess, they resisted light. For humans, it would invite God's judgment on them, and I suppose, depending on their alignment, 
it would result in either their death or free will being sapped from them. For angels, perhaps saying the Lord's name is simply forbade in their allegiance to God for his protection, or simply saying his name would overload them with holy energy and destroy them, much like demons. That's all just a theory though. It is confirmed that yod heh vod -He was so powerful he cast down every other god, deity, and demon into the abyss, resulting in his sole sovereignty over the heavens, so his power shouldn't be taken lightly. And he did all that before he got the surplus of power for being the main deity worshipped on earth. It's just crazy how some people assume he's a pushover just because he's a defeatable boss in a large amount of the games. Only at the end of a long, arduous adventure could the main characters of those games fight yod heh vod -He with the help of many other mythological beings as well as some godly artifacts. So put some respect on his name, will ya? Oh, and don't say it, lest ye be judged. Well, that pretty much covers why you can't say YHVH. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. This was quite a big departure from my previous content, but it was something I thought a lot about myself when I played through the voiced SMT games. Leave a comment if I helped you learn something or appreciate the series' lore and writing a little bit more. Either way, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Tony for You. Have a good one.